Hello and welcome to Darver, a very blustery and windy Darver, but lovely dry day here in County Loud. We'll start with the Loud team who are out to our right hand side. We were told beforehand Loud might have six changes, but in the end we were told they had none. So starting in goal is Kelly Cunningham. The full back line is Ema Murray, Quiva Boyle and Ailish Hand. Holly Lamb, Sally, Shannon McLaughlin and Caitlin O'Reilly the half back line. Aoife Halligan and Dervla O'Connor, Lorna Parker. Mia Duffy, Grace Trainer and the captain Anya Breen the half forward line. While inside is Lauren Boyle, Kate Flood and Laura Collins. Sligo in their traditional all black down to our left hand side. Ellen Maguire in goals, Isabel Henry, Claire Dunn and Kira Scanlon, the full back line, Sarah Curley, Lisa Powell and Tara Breheny, the half back line, Sarah Reynolds and Sinead Regan in the middle of the park, Quiva Connor, Captain Nicola Brennan at centre forward and Leah Duffy completes the half forward line and inside it's Tara Phillips, Sinead Nocton and Afy Harron. They're the two teams expected to line out for this third round of the National Football League Division 3 Five minutes to throw in. Nice crowd gathering on the far bank just for this game. Loud have won their opening. Two games of the National Football League. Sligo not going just as well. On the opening day, Loud... Had a 2-12 to 1-9 victory over Longford and then last week completed a 2-12 to 7 point victory away in Offaly. Sligo meanwhile took a fierce beating at the hands of Clare 3-15 to 5 points before losing out last week in Newry to down 2-8 to 9 points. Loud are joint first in the division with plus 17, only Kildare on plus 38 and Wexford on plus 18 are ahead of them. When these sides met last year, they finished 1-10 apiece in round one of the National Football League. Loud in last year's Intermediate Championship did top their group before a quarter-final loss to Roscommon. Sligo finished bottom of theirs. Both new managers at the helm. Kit Henry is the new Loud Supremo and Anthony Brennan for Sligo. And win today would give Loud a great chance of promotion to Division 2. Sligo, of course, need to get their first win of the campaign. Confirmation just coming in there. We have no changes on the Loud team, no changes on the Sligo team, so they should play as per the programme. We're just under three minutes to throw in here in Darver. The Loud County Centre of Excellence, six beautiful pitches. And if Loud can get two more points on the board today, they'll be pretty much guaranteed a place in the league semi-finals and the hopes of promotion looking that little bit brighter both teams just going through their final preparations ahead of this clash referee for today is Paul McCahey from Westmead and the Lions people are Emma Dunn and Stephen Devlin from Loud So the referee just telling the Sligo girls to hurry up. They were about to throw in the ball. Loud in their pre-match huddle. Sligo just cleaning up the pitch. They'll be ready to go now shortly. Perfect day for football. At half time in the Division 1 game, it's Armagh beating Monaghan by 1 9 to 1 3. Well, 
full round of fixtures today of course in Division 4 Carlo leading London 1-3 to 4 points Wexford are leading down 1-4 to 3 points and we'll keep you up to date with those scores too as we get them So as the time strikes two o'clock, referee Paul McCahey has his midfield quartet in place. Little check of the whistle, little survey of the pitch. We have 30 on the field, the ball is in and the game is underway in this round three, division three, National Football League clash here. Loud in the all red, Sligo in the white and black. And the ball is with... Centre half back Shannon McLaughlin. McLaughlin kicks it in but kicks it aimlessly and it's well intercepted by the Sligo centre half back. That's Lisa Powell and she's done well. And Sligo are on the attack here with right half back Sarah Curley. Curley gives it to Quiva Connor and Connor gives it back to Lisa Powell. Sligo trying to build something through the middle with Sinead Regan. And it's with Quiva Connor again and she's playing a low ball inside looking to create something and she's done well to find Tara Phillips and Phillips is looking for her option. She's tried to square the ball and she has done right back to midfielder Sinead Regan and Regan was a judge to have been fouled on her way in there, a pull of the jersey. Weren't many complaints from the loud side. So... Tara Phillips now with the opportunity to put Sligo ahead with just over a minute gone wind is going against her here it'll be a tough kick to land and it looks to have gone to the left and wide Sligo's first wide it was a tricky kick it's very windy down there meanwhile Kelly Cunningham gets the kick out of the way and Louder building again the slow game it's with captain Anya Breen and Breen takes it and gives it on now to Ailish Hand and Hand transfers it really quickly to Shannon McLaughlin and McLaughlin gives the ball inside and there's a great bit of pace in this move it's a wonderful ball inside looking for Mia Duffy and Duffy won't keep it in but it was a good ball in there from Lauren Boyle but just a little bit too much pace and the ball's gone out over the end line and that'll register as a loud wide so we've just three minutes on the clock here. Sligo building through centre half back. Lisa Powell seen a lot of ball in the early exchanges. A draw last when these two sides met, of course. So it'll be interesting to see, despite Loud's progress, how evenly matched they are. Tara Brehany doing well to find space and give a good ball inside. And there's a chance on here now for the full forward. Sinead knocked him, but she was well blocked down and louder on the attack again with Mia Duffy from St. Kevin's. Mia gives it now to her midfielder, Aoife Halligan from Roach Emmets. And Halligan gives it back to her. Chance inside to work something, and they are. Chance for Boyle, and she's kicked that to the right and wide. So two lines, two wides for loud. And again, Sligo going short with the kick out. Probably the sensible option in the blustery conditions. A ball handling will be a problem. and Good tackling there from Kate Flood, the former Irish international. But Sligo have ret retained possession on the cross in the 45 now and just runs into Grace Trainer there. But did well to hold on to it. Does Lisa Powell to centre half back. And Sligo just trying to work it very patiently. They found space in the middle of the field and now they're coming out towards the wing with corner back there, Isabel Henry. And it's now Sinead Regan that has the ball. She's also seen a lot of it. And the ball is now to her midfield partner, Sarah Reynolds. And Reynolds is driving through, being tracked by Eva Halligan. But she's done well and she's continued the run and gives the ball outside now. And there's a chance of a shot here. It looks like Eva Haran. And it's back inside now. Another good block down. It was Leah Duffy who took the shot, but it was well blocked down in there by Sarah Curley. And another chance though. Oh, good save. It was a low effort. It was a good save and it's gone wide in the end. Really good save from the loud goalkeeper, Kelly Cunningham. Sarah Curley. I think the shot came in there from Nicola Brown, chance, which she saved very well. Oh, good save. It was a low effort. And it was a good save, and it's gone wide in the end. Really good save. 
the primary job was done by the keeper, so fair play. Meanwhile, the ball is with the full-back, Cueva Boyle here, loud going for the short kick-out as well. And it's back with Kelly Cunningham, and they've moved, and they've brought it out to this side of the field, and on the ball again now is Mia Duffy. Mia Duffy gives it to Grace Trainer and trainer to Laura Collins, and Collins looks for a really good ball over the top, but again, just a little bit too much pace on it. And Laura Boyle went to fist it, but was easily mopped up there by Ellen Maguire the Sligo goalkeeper now Sligo have the ball at midfield from their captain and centre half forward Nicola Brennan loud defending in numbers back there it looks to have been a foot in yeah and it will be a loud ball good defence McLaughlin the centre half back gives it out now to centre half forward Grace Trainer, and the ball is back in the hands of Aoife Halligan Halligan gives it inside looking for Boyle again Boyle's seen a lot of action they're looking for her every single time and Boyle does the job and sends that one over the bar. Halligan so gives Lauren it inside, Boyle. looking for Boyle again. First Boyle's seen a lot of action, they're looking for her every single time. And Boyle does the job and sends that one. And a bit of luck at the other end, not to concede a goal straight up the field and get a point. So the loud management will be very happy with that one. Good hand in there from Ailish Hand from the Geraldines just over the road here. And Louder patiently building the ball across the 45 and looking for that lethal ball inside, looking for Laura Collins. But it was well mopped up by Kira Scanlon and she's coming across the 45, surveying all the options. Now it's with Sarah Curley. And back there again with the centre half back. Claire done but she was blocked down and Loud have got bodies behind the ball and they've got bodies in attack well coached Aoife Halligan has it she to Grace Trainer and Trainer has oceans of ground in front of her if she wants she's going for the shot this would be a 2-0 lead and it is it's 2-0 good move and centre forward Grace Trainer gets her first score of the afternoon and Loud are two points to the good Kate Flood does well to break that down. It's found by Laura Collins, and Collins is really quick. And she's found Mia Duffy. Mia Duffy gives it across for a chance of a goal. Oh, it's a great save with the keeper from Lauren Boyle's effort. A super save from Ellen Maguire. And then Boyle was a judge to have fouled her a late foot in again. But that could have been an unbelievable start for Loud. Good goalkeeping at both ends now. Two excellent saves from both keepers, keeping both sides respectively in the game. A uh, little bit of a show there from Sinead Regan. Showed the ball twice. The referee was happy enough. She took a touch in between. But Loud are really energetic in this opening seven minutes. Not allowing Sligo to dwell on the ball at all. As Sinead Regan just found out there. But she's got the ball away. And Sligo are built, coming right through the middle. Trying to work something. It's with full forward Sinead Nocton. Nocton turns it out to Cueva Connor. And Connor's just trying to work something here. It's a good effort from the right foot. Is it going to drop short? It has. Well collected there by Kelly Cunningham. And Cunningham gives it off. And now that building now with left half back, Caitlin O'Reilly from the Oliver Plunkett's Club in Drogheda. She to Anya Breen. And Breen gives it out now to Ailish Hand. And the ball is switched well to the far side of the field. It'll be a race for pace. And Loud have won the race. Looking for Kate Flood. She won't make it. Sligo have it there with... Sarah Curley and it's out now to Cueva Connor and Lauda coming across midfield sorry Sligo coming across midfield good tackle by Caitlin O'Reilly won the ball clean as the whistle and then blocks it down again super stuff well marshalled there by Mia Duffy but it was Caitlin O'Reilly the left half back with a super interception and then a super block and that has really got the crowd going here in Darva. bit of confusion down pitch side Loud thought that the referee had blown the whistle, but no, it's play away, but Sligo have given it away, and it's back in the hands of Caitlin O'Reilly, and the quick transfer on to centre-forward Grace Trainer. Great Trainer felt that she was body-checked, but Loud have it as Dervil O'Connor gives it to Mia Duffy, and Mia Duffy's looking for that diagonal ball inside, and three Sligo players went for it, but thankfully for them, it's centre-half back Lisa Powell, who has mopped it up. It was Lauren Boyle all on her own inside. Sligo coming out now with Isabel Henry, and Henry just trying to evade the tackle here of Trainer and runs straight into me at Duffy and to Caitlin O'Reilly. We nodded the head to the referee, says, Yes, I did foul up. Sligo Sporting, light blue stripes in their jersey. 
So it's with right half back Sarah Curley now and Curley was dragged by Duffy Shirley. The referee says play away but Sligo have it back in the middle of the field with midfielder Sarah Reynolds and Reynolds has given it now to her partner Sinead Regan and Regan driving forward looking to work something being well tackled and hassled in there by Holly Lamb Sally and the referee says there was actually a pull before Nicola Brennan kicked that one to the right and wide so we'll come back for the free. Nice crowd gathering here in Darvo. A lot of optimism around loud football at the minute in both ladies and men's. But about 44 metres out, Sligo will have the chance to get their first score of the game. We've played 10 minutes. And it's an opportunity here for Afy Harron. Looks to be going... Off the turf. Be a good hit if she clips it. Or maybe she will go short with it. Instructed to put it dead. She's looped it in. But it's looped straight in there. And easily mopped up. And Loud are on the attack. Out with Laura Collins. Collins as well to control it left handed. Gathers it right handed. And gives it into centre half forward. Grace Trainer from St Patrick's Club. On the Cooley Peninsula. She does well now to give it inside to her midfield companion. Dervil O'Connor and O'Connor looking in there for Kate Flood but it's well intercepted Sligo getting lots of bodies into the D they're protecting it well and it'll be a race for pace here between Mia Duffy and Sarah Curley Curley has won that race and now gives it to the corner back Isabel Henry Henry trying to cross midfield and she's done well to pass out here to Quiva Connor Caitlin O'Reilly coming close but she's got the ball away but she was put under that much pressure that she kicked it aimlessly and Ema Murray now from St Kevin's has it and Loud are on the build again Loud have it with midfielder Aoife Halligan and she's just launched one into Kate Flood between two and the two Sligo girls have won that and it's back with Sinead Regan and Regan to Reynolds and crossing midfield they're trying to drive through midfield but Devil O'Connor doing great tracking and enough pressure and eventually the ball is won in there by Ailish Hand and Ailish Hand gives it to Lauren Boyle she seems to be the focus point of all loud attacks Mia Duffy's an acres of space on this side of the field but she chooses to go back and now she has come this way and loud are still coming through coming through at the centre half back Shannon McLaughlin and McLaughlin sets Kate Flood away Kate Flood looking for her first point and Loud's third and that's good 11 minutes are gone and Kate Flood registers her first point of the afternoon. So it's three points to no score in favour of the Wee County. It's exactly the start that Kate Henry would be hoping for. Three points up. With just 11 minutes on the clock. Lauren Boyle has intercepted that kick out there from Ellen Maguire and it's back with Kate Flood and she's looking now they're looking for that ball in, in over the top all the time trying to isolate one of the three full forwards but it was well cut out on that occasion by Sarah Curley and the ball is with the loud wing half or the Sligo wing half forward Leah Duffy gives it to the opposite one Quiva Connor Connor looking inside now for the corner forward that is Tara Phillips but it's come back out here to Sinead Regan and Regan being tackled by Mia Duffy and by um, Aoife Halligan and both of them had an act and foul now but she's taken the free really quickly and she's found Sinead knocked an inside she's one on one but knocked has dropped it picked up by Quiva Boyle Quiva Boyle was fouled and loud have won a free in their own 14 again Derv O'Connor gives it out now to Anya Breen and Breen gives it to Grace Trainer. And she gets it back and loud across in their own 45, own 65. Now they're crossing the Sligo 65 as Breen has it back and looks for that ball inside towards Laura Collins. She's found Laura Collins and Collins has caught it and taken on pace to burn. And she was the judge to have been fouled and it's a free in. Nice, easy one here. This should be 4 0. Loud are playing with the breeze. It's quite strong, particularly down to our right hand side. As you saw with that initial free kick from Tara Phillips, it held up an awful lot. So this will be Laura Collins from the Newtown Blues Club in Drogheda for a 4-0 lead with 14 minutes on the clock. Taking her time, steadying herself as she hits the 21. 
and that has gone straight over the bar a little bit of hesitation there what a good score well won well converted and loud off 4-0 to the good with 14 minutes on the watch it's back in the hands of Ellen Maguire and out now to Tara Brehany and Sligo are really struggling to do anything with the ball fouled on that occasion but they've been put under enormous amounts of pressure great energy in this loud team Sinead Regan has the ball once again for Sligo she's been the main woman so far in this opening first quarter and she just ghosts by Grace Trainer there and she's ghosted into the loud half of the field really easily no one to touch her and eventually she's given the ball to Nicola Brennan and Brennan's getting held up but taught to be charging but the referee said no you have loads of time to play it and she didn't get playing it and it was intercepted by Anya Breen and she's out now to Laura Collins and Collins finds Mia Duffy Duffy now looking for an option she's found that option it sent the half forward Grace Trainer in to Lauren Boyle Boyle looking for that little loopy one over the top and she's found Kate Flood Flood looking for her second point of the game inside of the right boot that is as good a score as you'll see and loud a five to the good here. Kate Flood with 15 minutes on the clock. And loud have scored 2-12 in both of their opening games in the National Football League. They're already on five points. And only for a great save from Ellen Maguire, who definitely have a goal. So a big change in Loud's fortunes between this year and last year. And it was very unlucky there for Ema Murray, but really well won by Sinead Nocton. And Nocton's given it inside now to Tara Phillips. And Phillips has done well to give it back to Nocton. And Nocton's found Sarah Reynolds. Reynolds trying to work something, takes on the left leg, but she was never comfortable taking on the left leg. And she's kicked it out to the left-hand side and wide. And that's three wides for Sligo. Two wides for Loud. Kelly Cunningham finds Anya Breen. Breen crossing the 45, has options to her left, and she's used that option. Good, Shannon. Shannon McLaughlin giving the ball in a one-on-one -on -one race, but the one-on-one -on -one race was won by Sligo, and it's in the hands now of Lisa Powell, and Powell switches out to Regan. Regan's done well now to give it to Tara Brehany. Referee says she overcarried the ball, however. And Loud will be just delighted with that to have won a free in the middle of the field. So Breen takes it long, looking in there for Flood, her club mate. But it was well marshalled in there by Sligo, and they've done well. Full back, Claire Dunn. Sligo trying to cross into the middle of the field, and they have it now with their centre half back from Eastern Harps, Lisa Powell, back in towards Regan. Gets the kick away despite the attentions there of Grace Trainer, but it was no good because it was well intercepted by Ema Murray. And it's now with Ailish Hand, the other cornerback, looking for Laura Collins. Collins has got out in loads of space there, but been well surveyed by Isabel Henry. She's held on to it though, giving a good ball back now to Trainer. And Trainer looking for help there, and she's found it with Ailish Hand, the cornerback, who's looking for Collins again, but she just fisted it straight away. To Isabel Henry and Sligo will break now out this side. Out to Quiva Connor. And Quiva Connor give a good ball. It was well called in there by Phillips. And she's done well to hold on. That's twice now that Ema Murray has been very unlucky to lose out to Sinead Nocton. and got a hand on both times. Back with Leah Duffy. Duffy looking for that ball inside, but she just didn't have the confidence in the kick to take it. And eventually she's run into two loud players. Eventually she got the kick away, but she gave it straight to the loud full back. But the referee, Paul McCahey, says, no, no, you were actually being fouled. So it is a free. Free number three, two, Sligo. This one a little bit closer, about 42 metres out. Second bite of the cherry, maybe, for Tara Phillips. This time she decides to cross the ball, but again she's giving it away. Loud are so well organised. And Shannon McLaughlin on her bike and Loud just looking really solid defensively every time they come forward they look as if they could do something Aoife Halligan has it into Collins Collins with the short ball in to Mia 
Duffy and Duffy switches it out this side now to Dervil O'Connor. O'Connor looking for her point. But she's kicked it to the left and wide, wide number three for Loud. Sligo also have three, but Loud will be much the happier with 19 minutes gone. Oh, geez, that's a terrible kick out, and Kate Flood's won it. And she's one on one with the goalkeeper now. This is surely in the back of the net. Super effort. Well won. Keeper, to be fair, did get a leg to it, but it was only a leg to divert it into the roof of the net. And Loud are in cruise control here in Darver. 1-5 to no score. Sligo looks shell-shocked. Kitten O'Reilly nearly getting a block on that one. But Sligo have done well to move the ball forward. And it's a long one in there from Sarah Reynolds looking inside for Nocton, but easily mopped up. And Anya Breen has the ball. Gives it to her midfielder, Dervil O'Connor. She's looking for a back. It's with Aoife Halligan. It is back with Breen now. Breen finds Lauren Boyle. Boyle with the left-footed shot, but that's straight into the hands of Ella Maguire. And Sligo will try and build it now with Tara Brehany and back in now to Sinead Regan. They only scored five points the last day, Sligo. Doesn't look like they'll score many more today on the first 20 minutes evidence. And it's midfielder now, Sarah Reynolds, who has the ball. Reynolds with a low ball inside, looking for Nocton, and she's found her. And Nocton's trying to take on the loud full back here, Quiva Boyle, and she's done well to keep possession of the ball. Back with Quiva Connor. Connor, they've been well pushed out here. The D has been very well marshalled. Back in the hands of Sinead Nocton. And now Sligo have switched the play. It's Sarah Reynolds again on the ball. Reynolds gives a good one back to Nocton and Nocton's trying to work something and Sligo are coming out the far side of the field with Captain Nicola Brennan from Turla Strand back to Sinead Regan Regan's doing all the hard work here she's won the free the referee says you do have advantage she tried to play it and when she couldn't awarded the free Loud will be more than happy to concede frees outside the D which they're doing and particularly with the conditions down pitch side it's much windier than it might appear Absolutely glorious day here in the very north of County Loud. So this one's off the ground again. This for Sligo's first point, but that was dealt with very well there by Eilish Hand. Palmed it down and collected the second ball. And again, Loud build through Shannon McLaughlin, the centre half back. McLaughlin gives it to Hand, who cleared that ball off the line. Look at the ground she's made up. Her cornerback, Emo Murray, the comrade, into centre forward. Now Grace Trainer and Trainer was looking for the crossy ball. Good idea, but well intercepted by Sinead Nocton. Nocton out of Quiva. Connor and Sligo will try and build something. Gives the ball inside now to Regan, and Sinead Regan's just trying to work something. Another advantage coming, I think, yes. Tara Phillips, meanwhile, plays on and gets the ball down the far side of the field to Leah Duffy. And there's a movement going. Aoife Alfie Heron is the runner. That's going to drop short too. It is nothing to worry about there from Kelly Cunningham. Wide number four for Sligo. They're not converting the chances when they do get inside. But another chance for Sligo here. Bad kick out. And centre forward Nicola Brennan was fouled. So she is a free. Just outside the D about 28 or 9 metres. Maybe more, maybe 30. It looks to be Tara Phillips going for this one. So, correction, it was actually Leah Duffy who went for that one. The ball was one deep inside, but there looked to have been a free. Or the ball could have been one in the square. It's hard to see from this angle. But meanwhile, Loud do have the free. And they're very content to work it through the lines. Holly Lamb, Sally has possession, gives it back now to Kelly Cunningham. Kelly Cunningham gives it in to Devlo O'Connor. And O'Connor has a runner alongside her if she wants it. And she does use her. That's Ema Murray. 
Murray gives it out now to Aoife Halligan. Halligan does well to keep that in along the far side. Linus back to Ema Murray. Two options here in the middle of the field. One of them's Kate Flood. The other one's Kate and O'Reilly. And Flood just gives a really good ball out to O'Reilly. Sporting to Trevor Giles' sleeves. And running into one, two Sligo players. She's dispossessed. And the referee says she was fouled. I looked incredibly soft from this angle. But it is a free in. Meanwhile, there's a double substitution coming on the Sligo team. 17 and 22. So it's Kate Hosey and Megan McCormick who are coming in. Both into the forward line. And it looks to be number four coming off. Number eight anyway. So that's Sarah Reynolds off. And number 15 it looks to be. So Sarah Reynolds and Aoife Haran are off for 17 and 22. So Megan McCormick and Kate Hosey into the fray. But meanwhile, Loud have got yet another point. Another score. The wing half by Kitlin O'Reilly. Doing great defensive work earlier in the half. Now popping up with a score. And Loud a 1-6 to no score up here. With 26 minutes on the clock. I think Sligo will just be happy to get in for half time and reassess. As Lisa Powell trying to cross into the Loud 45 and she's done that. Doesn't really have any options and she's half waving the hand as if to say, who's helping me? Help there from the midfielder, Regan. Regan gives a really good ball across the field to the wing half forward, Quiva Connor. Connor turns and gives it inside now to the new girl in. That's number 22, Megan McCormick. And McCormick's got a 1-2 going with Sarah Curley and she's got it back. And she gives it inside now to Sinead Nocton. Nocton was tackled, but that tackle was illegal. And that'll be a free. By my count, it's free number six for Sligo. And it'll be Tara Phillips to take it. Just being encouraged to kick it over the bar. And that she does. So Anthony Brennan's side get their first score of the afternoon. With 27 minutes gone. It's Tara Phillips. And they'll be happy to have registered one. Meanwhile, Lauren Boyle has it. One good ball after the kick in there from McLaughlin. She's going well. She's powering straight through. Being tackled well by Sligo centre half back. Lisa Powell. But Boyle had more than enough to put it over the bar. And that's her second point of the afternoon. And it's 1-7 to a point here. As Sligo try to work the ball out on the far side of the field. Good tackling by Aoife Halligan. But Sligo maintain possession. And it's out now with Nicola Brennan, the captain and centre half forward, way back in her own 21. Laura Collins trying to put a hand in, but easily evaded and Sarah Curley puts a bit of pace into the move as she gives it off to Tara Brehan, the other wing half back but again Sligo met by Anya Breen and Breen was late there but referee said play on Cueva Connor has the ball now looking for Megan McCormick and McCormick's got her hands on a lot of balls since being introduced she's doing well trying to give a ball inside and she's found knocked and I think she actually found Phillips Back to McCormick. McCormick tries the wee loopy one and she gets it. And there's a bit of pace here now from Leah Duffy. She seems to come to life in the last minute. And another free given away by Loud. So Tara Phillips will be hoping to replicate the one she slotted over just a minute ago. This would make it 1-6 to 2 points. But she decides to go short but go square. And it's back with Duffy, and Duffy puts it onto the left leg, and that's gone wide again. Sligo's fifth wide of the half. Their shooting has been poor. 
not aided, of course, by the conditions down there. But still a lot to think about at half time. Looking here for Lauren Boyle. And Boyle is well beaten out to that one there by the Sligo cornerback, Kira Scanlon. And it's in now with Sinead knocking the full forward play out around the middle of the field. Gives it back to a midfielder, Sinead Regan. Regan being confronted by Anya Breen, the left half forward, but she's playing like a sweeper. Allowed more than happy just to play that additional defender. With three up top, and they're trying to rotate those three. It's working effectively so far. Right half back, Sarah Curley has it and gives it to Nicola Brennan, the captain. Brennan offloads it really well to Regan, and Regan gives another good offload. And that's a chance of a goal. But it's just gone right across Kelly Cunningham's goal. But it has gone to the right and wide. Two glorious goal opportunities for Sligo in this half. And if either one of them had gone in, they'd actually be in the game despite being totally and utterly outplayed. Cunningham decides to go long, but she gave a really bad pass. Holly Lamb, Sally, I don't know how she was expected to win it, and then she's actually conceded the free. And Sligo have another one. They've come to life now since the double substitution. Credit where credit's due. Anthony Brennan making the right moves, and Sinead Regan has it. Gives it back to Nocton. Nocton out now to Lisa Powell. Powell to Megan McCormick. She's seen a lot of balls since she's come into the fray, but put under a lot of pressure there. And that ball has gone to the white, right and wide, just looking for Tara Phillips. Roscommon leading 2-1 against Tipperary. Waterford beating Mayo 4 points to 2. Tyrone beating Leash 2-2 to a point. Cavan and Westmead are a goal apiece. And as the half-time whistle blows here in Darver, it is loud. 1-7 to Sligo's solitary point. Scores from Lauren Boyle, Grace Trainer, and Kate Flood before Laura Collins got her first point, made it 4 0 to Loud by the 14th minute. Kate Flood got her second in the 15th minute before adding a goal in the 20th minute, 1 5 to no score. Kate and O'Reilly, the wing half back, popped up to make it 1 6 to no score. Tara Phillips registering Sligo's only score of the game in the 27th minute before Lauren Boyle ended the half with another point for Loud. So the half time score here in Darver is Loud, a goal in seven. Sligo, one point.
You're very welcome back here to Darver, where Louds are beating Sligo 1-7 to a point as both teams emerge back onto the field for the second half of this third round of the Division 3 National Football League. A very blustery conditions as you look from the pitch as the wind is blowing from the far side of the field over to us here. In the first half, Loud hit three wides, but a goal and seven. Sligo hit seven wides and only one point. That solitary point coming via Tara Phillips in the 27th minute. Uh, so, referee Paul McCahey is just doing a final head count. Looks to be one change on the Loud team here. I think number 28 is coming in for number 14. So it's Kate Flood who's making way for Aoife Russell. Looks to be the only change thus far. We're not sure we'll tell you as we get confirmation. That actually doesn't look right now that we do see it. So... Loud will be hoping for three wins from three. Following victories over Longford and Offaly. Sligo hoping to get their first win of the National Football League 2023. Some other scores in the National Football League today. Kildare are losing away to Clare. Tipperary beating Roscommon. Westmead are beating Cavan a goal and two to a solitary goal at half time in Knockbride. Tyrone beating Leash. And earlier on, there was a win of 5 9 to 1 4 for Carlo over London in, in Carlo. Waterford beating Mayo. Sligo taking their first shot of the second half but easily won there by Kelly Cunningham that's par for the course in the first half are we shaping up the sec start the second half the same way as Mia Duffy from the Kevins Club has it and Loud working it through the hand once again Anya Breen slick hand pass in there finding the midfielder Dervil O'Connor from the Moctis Club just over the road from here into centre half forward Grace Trainer and Loud are building the same as they built in the first half through the hands very patient runners coming late and well done by midfielder there Dervil O'Connor set Lauren Boyle away oh boy, looking for her third point of the game this would be some start at the second half it's to the right and wide fourth wide of the game for Loud and Boyle just found out there exactly as Tara Phillips did in the first half that it is very windy particularly down to those goals to our right hand side and now Sligo have just given the ball away aimless kick out over the sideline here in front of us and it'll be a line ball to Loud Dervil O'Connor will take it given back now to Lauren Boyle from Grace Trainer and blocked down but was there a free there there was holding of the hand so Sligo conceding a free already in this second half it was a delayed half time. Loud probably just trying to calm down and refocus despite the command and lead. And Sligo on the opposite hand probably trying to gear up and get ready for a second half. Trying to improve on the first one. Lauren Boyle's kick has gone just as wayward as the ones in the first half. No fault of her own or any of the Sligo free takers. It's just absolutely very wintry down there. As Sligo trying to build and they have it now with Tara Brehany from the St Mary's Club. She does well to evade the tackle there of Dervil O'Connor and Sligo are trying to cross midfield. Lauren Collins trying to track Leah Duffy, but Duffy's done well to get away. But then Sligo have run straight into trouble. It's back there with Nicola Brennan and Brennan gives it out to the centre half back, Lisa Powell. Powell into Sarah Curley. She was tackled late by Anya Breen, and there will be an advantage whenever the ball is won by Loud, which it has just happened. So it'll be a free to Sligo just inside. The loud half of the field. No messing around there from Sinead Regan. The Sligo player of the match so far. 
crossing the 45 looking for help but she doesn't have much and she's scanning all the options and eventually has to give the shorthand pass back to Lisa Powell Powell's trying to do some she's, we Megan McCormick's done well to give it back to Powell and Powell's crossed inside the 21 takes the shot a super effort and that is Sarah Curley's first point it's Sligo's first point of the second half and it makes it a goal and seven to two points. I was talking to former Sligo under-21 star Shane O'Regan during the week. And he was telling me that this Sligo team are undergoing a massive transition. And it, but in a couple of years, they'll be back competing for honours. Meanwhile, it is loud centre-half forward Grace Trainer with the shot. And she has put that to the right and wide. And that is Loud's fifth wide. <laughs> We've played four minutes in the second half here. Oh, it's a big mistake here and it could be punished. Wing half back Tara Breheny just wasn't watching the kick out from Ellen Maguire and she fumbled it, but thankfully for her, she has recovered and there was no danger. But Sligo have done well now to get back on top and win that ball. They've started the second half much brighter. And they've won yet another free. So big improvement. From Anthony Brennan's side, oh cheeky there. Sligo trying to take the free about 48 or 9 metres further forward from where it should have been taken. But the referee says, no, 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 come on, come back. It's lovely and dry here, but it's very windy. And it is washed down the pitch side. Meanwhile, Sligo taking the free. The ball is in the hand of Nicola Brennan. Seems to have come in as a third midfielder in this second half. Run being well made there by Sinead Regan. Regan trying to drive through now into the D and she's been tackled there by Anya Breen but she's done well to evade her and she still kept control of the football and she's done well. Gives it back to Megan McCormick. McCormick has made a big difference since she's come into the fray. Back now to Nicola Brennan. And out to the wing half back, Tara Breheny. And back to Megan McCormick. And Sligo are starting to get a foothold in this second half. Good ball. Sl sl uh, slicing through the loud defence. Lisa Powell has it. It looks like it's back in the hands of Regan. Regan can't get onto that left foot. But she's done well to find the centre half back. Powell, Powell for a chance of 1-1 one -one at the start of the second half. Couldn't get the shot off. It was Sarah Curley. Curley fumbled. It. Tackled by three loud players. Was run really well. And that is a super score. Did really well to control the football. Really good score. And Sligo have hit the first two points of the second half. I think it was Megan McCormick hit that one. Good start for Sligo. Be good to see a game made of it. Now, Mia Duffy has it and lays it off to the right half back there. Holly Lamb Sally. Now trying to create something inside, looking for Boyle. And Boyle jinking and jiving and takes the dummy hop and gives it back out now to our replacement. That is Aoife Russell. Russell, we still haven't been informed who she's in for. We're doing a head count. Back to Lauren Boyle. Boyle has sent the forward there. Grace Traynor with her and it's back out to Russell. Russell gives it to Laura Collins. Collins takes the hop and takes the shot. This will hang, will it? It will hang. But there was a loud player in the square. So, square ball, regardless of how that would have finished out otherwise. And Ella Maguire has the ball in hand. And she's looking now to set her wing half forward, Leah Duffy away. And Duffy did really well to control that. She was stumbling as she came into the ball. And Sinead Regan, she's incredibly fit up and down the field all day. She has really carried the can for Sligo today. Her wing half back, Tara Breheny, has it, but Tara was adjudged to have been fouled. And Sligo are running at Loud, and Loud are fouling them. Another change coming here in front of us on the Loud team. Number 30, Rachel Berreth from St Feckins in Termin Fecken, is coming into the fray. And it looks like Ema Murray, I think, the right corner back, is coming off. So loud making a change just 
seven minutes into the second half as Sligo have a free and that free was taken well and taken quickly and the runner off here is Leah Duffy Duffy's come into the game much more in the second half and Sinead Nocton's coasting inside the D and she's free now there's a chance on here for Tara Phillips and that's over the bar that's more like it from Sligo they have kicked the first three points in the second half and despite all of the loud domination in the first half, there are only six points in it. One, seven to four points. So whatever was said at half time is clearly working. Sligo have much more energy. That was a very unlucky foul there. But it was a foul nonetheless. Dervil O'Connor just walking a wee bit gingerly after that one. But loud, if they had been turned over there again, they were definitely in big trouble because there were four players in the loud half versus two loud players so Sligo would have had a two player advantage but luckily for them it worked out Anya Breen has it gives a good cross field ball here to Mia Duffy and I think she took her eye off it, and now she's a race with the line but she's won it and at the second time of asking she's picked the ball up and she's given it out now to Lauren Boyle she can really move Boyle gives it inside to Aoife Russell the substitute Russell with the inside of the right boot and that was a good one a good one and well needed from a loud perspective so Eva Russell doing her part to keep Loud's advantage it's now out to 1-8 to 4 points that was a really good score and one that will settle them Sligo had scored the first 3 points of the second half and Loud looked quite lacklustre the ball has been batted away somehow it's fallen to Sarah Curley from the Owen Rua club in Sligo and it's down the line here to Sinead knocking the full forward she seems to be playing much deeper in the second half much further out the field second time of asking it's worked out there for Megan McCormick but it's turned over again but it's turned over illegally and you can just feel around Darvin now there's a sense of Sligo coming really back quickly back into this game a chance on here for goal and what a hit Leah Duffy what a rasp into the top left hand corner of Kelly Cunningham's net. And now we have a game on our hands here. Ten minutes gone. And Leah Duffy has absolutely hit a cracking good goal. The free was taken shortly or short when it was a real chance of a point. But Sligo weren't content with that. And with ten minutes gone in the second half, Louds... Ten, 10 points to one lead has totally and utterly evaporated there's now four and Sligo have a chance of another goal another one chance oh and that's gone wide oh I could see that going anywhere but where it went in the end and if that had gone in we'd have a one point game and frankly that would be astounding considering the first half we had but then mind you Sligo did miss two glorious goal chances in the first five minutes and near enough the last five minutes of the first half and down now is Ailish Hand. So she needs a bit of attention. Sligo management just trying to speed the kick up now. They know that Loud are playing against that wind. And as we touched on, it is quite strong down there. Oh, what a start we've had at the second half. We've only played 11 minutes with points from wing half back Sarah Curley, Megan McCormick with a point Tara Phillips with a point in the third fifth and eighth minute Aoife Russell the substitute for Loud coming through with a great run deep from midfield and she steadied the ship for Loud or so we thought but immediately Leah Duffy with an absolute rasper to the top left hand corner of Kelly Cunningham's net and we have a game on our hands here in Darver as Shannon McLaughlin wins the short kick from Kelly Cunningham and Loud are trying to build now Caitlin O'Reilly making a run and Caitlin O'Reilly has got the run sporting those Trevor Giles sleeves but good pressure there from Quiva Connor too much pressure however and she has fouled Laura Collins has the ball Laura Collins being told come on ahead there was obviously descent off the ball now I'm not a maths teacher but that's a long 13 metres and from just inside the 45 to dead straight in front of the goals Laura Collins has probably the easiest kick of the day this would be her second point if she could nail it. Well rehearsed routine this. Steadying herself. She kicked one in the first half after a great run and was fouled. She has kicked a second one now. And that will just steady the ship a little bit. Laura Collins with her second point of the afternoon. 
and now it's 1-9 to 1-4 so five points in it Sligo doing well to come out of there with full back Claire Dunn and it's out now with Tara Breheny oh there's a body check from Anya Breen you can hear it up here referee says play away probably good referee and to be fair Sinead Regan not making any sufficient ground is declared so Leah Duffy has run in to take the free and she gives it to Regan Regan has just pretended that the fake hand pass didn't give it now does give it did really well waited for the player to present and that's what she's done that's the second substitute that came in there Kate Hosey and Hosey's done really well loud people below us not happy with the length of time on the ball but the referee's all that matter as Lisa Powell has it a late hand in there from Ailish hand thankfully she's recovered and the ball is switched out to the far side of the field to Sarah Curry really growing in the game one of the players along with Regan in the first half to continually carry the ball into the loud half of the field. Regan, as I said, is now out the far side of the field looking for the ball and she can be found and has been found by Leah Duffy, the goal scorer. Regan now, can she get in on that right foot and kick a point? Trying to drive through and pass the attention of Mia Duffy. She's done really well. She's given it to the left half back. Tara Breheny and Megan McCormick gives it back to Breheny and it's out now to Lisa Powell and she switches it to centre half forward. Nicola Brennan, the captain from Turles Strand. I know in men's football, they're the strongest club down there, winning Sligo Championship for fun in recent times. But it's Leah Duffy from the Owen Rua Club, and she's broken the tackle, and she deserves a score after that effort. But no, it drops short. Kelly Cunningham collects it and is gives it to Rachel Barrett, and it's now out to Shannon McLaughlin. And now they're just trying to work the ball out, but giving away there. And Sligo are really starting to get a foothold in this game. Brennan has it for Sligo. Tackled by Duffy, but she's won it at the second time of asking. Just gives it back there to Breheny, and it's out to Megan McCormick. McCormick has the player inside. Oh, and there's a chance on here if Sligo can turn it quickly with Tara Phillips. It was the substitute. Rachel Barrett had slipped, but thankfully for Loud, that Sligo just couldn't get the ball quick enough. McCormick was grabbed around the neck. Advantage coming for Sligo if nothing happens of this, but she's gone inside the 21. She's inside the 13. Barrett is trying to tackle it, but she can't do anything because she's too quick and knocked and now turns back and turns inside. Could have beaten the girl the first time, but decided to go for it the second time. And eventually she's been blocked down and Loud now with Caitlin O'Reilly have turned the ball over. She was gone by her the first time, but she decided to go back inside. And Mia Duffy has the ball, the right half forward. She's put up serious miles in this game to date. Ball with Dervil O'Connor, the midfielder, confronted by Lisa Powell, the centre half back. Powell's done well, but can't do enough. And it's away with Grace Trainer. Trainer gives it inside now to Lauren Boyle. She's a right gore if she can get away from you and Boyle just continuing to go round one go round two Sligo defenders and she's turning into trouble and eventually she was fouled it was a knee into the quad you can't really complain about those ones 16 minutes gone the second half has flown by but it is Loud who still have the advantage 1-9 to 1-4 One three for Sligo in this half. Two points for Loud. Uh, Laura Collins will be looking for her third of the game and Loud's third of the half. We've had some excitement now in the opening 16 minutes of this second half here in Darbo. So Laura Collins looking for three out of three. And no, she's missed that one. So two from three. It would have been a dint to Sligo to be six points down despite making that great start. But Ellen Maguire has got the ball away quickly and Sligo are trying to work it out but Collins has done well to get a foot in there. Sligo have held on and they're coming and breaking down the far side of the field. Sarah Curley making a good run at the middle of the field but she wasn't spotted there by Isabel Henry. And it's with Kira Scannon over the far side of the field, referee playing advantage. 
And it's won inside there now by Sarah Curley again, the wing half back, looking for Megan McCormick. McCormick has the ball, gives a good hand pass off, and the Sligo have runners on the far side of the field. Megan McCormick has it back to Sarah Curley. Regan looking for them. Regan has it down the middle of the field, left half back. Brett, and he's gone inside, but she doesn't give it to her. Gives it out now to Leah Duffy, the goal scorer. Back to Regan now. Regan can't, she can that left foot, doesn't appear to have one. Decides to go by one, go by two loud players, and she has a judge to have been fouled. I didn't see it on our own TV monitor, but the referee did. So this is a fairly easy one here. 14 metres out. It's a lovely angle for a right-footed kicker. And if this goes over, there are only four points in it. And 11 minutes to go. Loads of time for Sligo. The kick is taken by Nocton. And that is as straight as a die. Her first point of the game. And we have a couple of substitutes coming in now. So who have we? It looks to be number five is off for Loud. So that's Holly Lamb Sally. And 19 has gone into the fray. That's Hannah O'Neill from the Newtown Blues. 27 has also gone in. Neve Rice. I've been well informed and there's a bad mistake, a chance of pulling the jersey, surely that's a free. Unbelievable. Kelly Cunningham kicked it straight to a Sligo player. She was absolutely pulled to the ground and the referee is the only one on the ground who doesn't know how he didn't give the free. Loud have really got off the hook. Really have. Leah Duffy tackling really hard. Advantage whoever loud. And it's Breen, the St. Patrick's player and the captain who carries the ball. That's a double hop. But she's away anyway. And Sligo now are in real trouble. There's a player loose on the far side of the field. It's Hannah O'Neill from the Newtown Blues. If she can be found, can she be found? She's in the squares. Sligo are bottling them up, but they've bottled them up too much. And Kate Flood has won the free. Kate Flood, we were told, was going off, but she's still on the field. We have played 20 minutes in this second half. It has absolutely flown by, full of drama. And Kate Flood has won a free. Laura Collins, from a very similar angle to the one she just missed, will she be three from four or two from four? She's three from four. Good score. That'll be a big one. It's 13-8 now. It's a goal and 10 plays a goal and 5. But that was a very interesting decision. On the far end of the field, Leah Duffy, from what I could see on this angle here, was just yanked down, but no free. Loud will be tanking their lucky stars because a goal there would have really changed the complex of this game. Meanwhile, that kick out's been intercepted there really well by Neve Rice from the Cooley Kickham's Club and they're on the move here with Dervil O'Connor from Moctis and Louder inside with Laura Collins. Collins takes the shot and it's in the net. In under the body of Ellen Maguire and Collins has got a goal and two now, to a goal and three to her name. And despite all the good work at the start of the second half, that surely is the game bust now from a Sligo point of view. Well won back there by Rachel Barrett out in front. That'll really deflate you after a, a strong second half. But if truth be told, Loud were excellent in the first half. And they're going away now with Sinead Nocton. Trying to work something. And Nocton was a judge to have been fouled. So she'll come back and she does take it back there to Sinead Regan. Regan is Lisa Powell, the centre half back in support and that's who she gives it to. And there's a chance now for Sarah Curley. Holding on to the ball and just scanning the options, surveying the pitch. Leah Duffy has it, Leah Duffy back to Curley. It's out now with Brennan the captain and it's back with Duffy. And Powell has it, Regan. Sent the midfielder trying to go by one. She's gone by Breen quite handily. That is a gorgeous point. I think she was foul as anyway, but it was still a super score. 
from Sinead Regan. And that is really good. So we've more substitutes coming here, hence the break in play. So that's Rachel O'Brien. And Rachel is coming in for... We're not too sure yet. No one's willing to come off. We have someone coming off in the end. It's... 13, yep, yeah, Tara Phillips. So Tara Phillips is out. And Rachel O'Brien is in. So we're inside the last seven minutes here, plus whatever injury time we have. Uh, the kick out from Kelly Cunningham. This one's gone a wee bit better and it's found McLaughlin. McLaughlin just gives it to Breen, the captain. Super hands from Breen. And now they're on the attack. Are they? They are. Yeah, Mia Duffy does well to collect. I think a hit her in the chin, but she's done all right to, to hold on to the ball. And good movement there from the two substitutes. The first one was Neve Rice. The second one was Hannah O'Neill. It's still Neve Rice with the ball as she tries to get the shot away from the attentions. Oh, look at that. It looked like a square ball from this angle. The referee's going in to check with the umpires. I think that is the... No, it's not. Is he given the goal? We're not entirely sure here. What's going on? I think it is a square ball, in fact, yeah. It looked as if Laura Collins was camped in the square, but she did well to collect and did well to finish, but not legally. So Sligo have some chance of a comeback here however slight it is just as I said that Anya Breen does well to win the ball back to a tangle oh there's a dirty leg left in there but she's done well to get away with it and here's the substitute now Neve Rice Rice put that ball in for Collins but judged to have been in the square and she's hit that one herself but she's hit it to the right and wide and she registers Louds seven wide of the afternoon so it's 2.10 to 1-6 and Sligo have six minutes to pull this one out of the bag this is the right place to be playing football Sinead knocked and has it inside the loud half of the field a quick transfer of possession but really well read but it was only read so far because she's let it go and it's back with is it Cueva Connor on the far side of the field I think they've runners over the far side if they want them Sligo but they can't seem to move the ball quick enough but now they have it to the centre half forward that's Nicola Brennan. Brennan's got inside. She's a chance to hand pass in. There's a chance of a goal here, is there? It's come back out. Back to Megan McCormick. It's not back to Megan McCormick. It should have gone. It's gone to the left and wide. Nine wides for Sligo. There was a glimmer of a goal there. Put a click quickly. The light went out on that one. And the extra touch was taken. And Loud will be just delighted to weather this storm and get away with the win and move on to three wins in NFL Division 3 be 3 from 3 for Kit Henry's side serious progress made this year in comparison to last year and as I said that Sinead Regan with an absolutely interception of the year fantastic near hand tackle Regan with the ball looking for McCormick as she found her she has found her McCormick has grass in front if she can put on the afterburners and get away from the attention there of the loud defender Rachel Barrett she's done really well McCormick a good good score she's played really well today 26 minutes are gone I think we have an, another sub coming loud number 18 is in that is Aideen Dunn and she's replacing Dervla O'Connor so now we have 6 points between them 1-7 to 2 10. A stub on the Sligo team as well. We'll get that one as soon as we can. So Kelly Cunningham to take the kick. Out to Shannon McLaughlin. McLaughlin carrying the ball and looking for that pass and she has no oh, she's giving it straight to, to McCormick there's a chance on here but it's too slow but eventually Sligo have got the ball back and it's with McCormick after the quick one two from Brennan it's back across the face of the goal here to Regan Regan with a brilliant sidestep she takes the toe tap is she going for goal can't get out of that left foot the chance of a goal blocked down really well but the ball's broken in the square and a chance of another one it hit the outside of the crossbar and it has gone to the right and wide Rachel O'Brien with the effort. 
On a different day, despite playing very little football in the first half, Sligo could have this game wrapped up. What loud, that's a little bit of luck you need. And loud are coming through now with Aoife Russell. Scored a good point earlier on in the half. And the ball been chased down there now by Hannah O'Neill from the Newtown Blues Club. She's been well marshalled in there by the full back, Claire Dunn. And Dunn's doing really well and she's turned the ball over. Really well done. Good full back play. Great to see that one on one defending still exists in the modern game. So, according to my very amateur watch, we've two minutes to go here in Darver as Sligo are building out through the full back line. And the ball is with left half back Tara Brehany. She's seen a lot of balls second half. Really tried along with Lisa Powell and Sinead Regan and Megan McCormick and Brennan to carry the can and up the fight here for Sligo. Ball out now to Sarah Curley. She's played very well too. And Sligo are just trying to work something. Regan has it again. Gives it inside now to the player that just took the shot. That's Rachel O'Brien. O'Brien now gives the, the small ball out to the right half forward. Quiva Connor and Quiva Connor has got her first score of the game. And now there are five points in it. Two ten. Plays 1-8 and it's kicked straight to Sinead Regan. He's going to chip the keeper. No! Oh! Mother of God. For the second time in the half, Kelly Cunningham gave the ball straight away. It was wrapped and expressly delivered to Sinead Regan. Christmas came early and it was just a chip shot but Regan missed it and they're in again here Sligo there's another fumble that's touched well done on the ground to touch it away chance of a goal maybe left footed shot it is in the net this time Rachel O'Brien unbelievable I'm reminded of Wes Houlihan's miss in Lille in Euro 2016, he missed a sitter against Italy. And then less than a minute later, he puts the ball in for Robbie Brady. And Brady, as we know, earned the 1-0 win. But Sinead Regan missed an absolute sitter. And then less than a minute later, gave the ball in to Rachel O'Brien. And she couldn't miss. Neither could Regan. But anyway, <laughs> it's a two-point game here. And at half-time... People were thinking about leaving. I'm sure they're glad they didn't. I'm, we're definitely glad we didn't. And player of the match, without shadow of a doubt, Sinead Regan. She has been an, on a crusade today. And it's now Sligo who look like the team that are going for three from three in NFL Division 3. Looking for their first win. They're still two points down, but it's all momentum with Sligo. Building down the right-hand side of the field. That's looking like a shot from Leah Duffy. Only the umpire will tell us it looks good. It is good. And just as the game approaches the full time, the, the 30 minute mark, it's suddenly a one point game. 2-10 to 2-9. How has this gone so wrong from Loud? Shannon McLaughlin with really quick hands there to Mia Duffy. And Mia Duffy gives it back to McLaughlin. McLaughlin to centre half back out to Caitlin O'Reilly. O'Reilly gives it forward now. Looking for the substitute, but it's gone over the head there of Neve Rice. And Stigo have it. Is there a draw on the cards? We have played 31 minutes in the second half. It's been an unbelievable second half of football. Where else would you want to be on a Sunday afternoon only watching live football? Ball is with Kate Hosey. Hosey, was she fouled or is it a free out on the ball? The referee doesn't know. He does now know. God, the excitement down pitch side is just incredible. For a long time there, the referee, Paul McCahey, didn't know what he was going to do. Eventually, he has decided that it is a free to... Loud. There's a head injury down there, I think. Oh, the drama. What about this for a game of football? It looked 1-7 to a pint at half-time. It looked as if we could go home for the cup of tea and not come back. I'm glad we didn't. 2-10 to 2-9. Loud with maybe one last chance of an attack. Ah, it was in the back. It was clumsy. You don't think there was any malice in it. But it will be a free... And Loud will use all their experience and all the cynicism and slow the game down now. <laughs> A few very nervous Loud supporters alongside us here. They're delighted at the break in play. 
32 minutes gone, second half. Loud by the skin of their teeth leading. And it'll be Laura Collins looking for her fourth point. From her fifth attempt, she's three from four so far. It'll be a tough one, she's about 42 metres out. But I think the most important thing is now is don't give the ball away. And Loud will be quite happy this Sunday evening. Coincidentally, Loud, their crest is the St. Bridget's Cross. And of course, this is the inaugural St. Bridget's weekend bank holiday. So it would be fitting, I suppose, to be in the Wee County. And Loud to pick up their third win on this St Bridget's weekend Laura Collins will she go short or will she go for it she's shaping up to go for it it'd be some hit if she lands it the wind would tell you it's against her just from the D Sligo question where it's from they won't really mind because that's gone to the right and wide it is Loud's 8th wide of the afternoon, Sligo have hit 11, Sligo have hit 2-9, Loud have hit 2-10 and for the final time today I'd say we're in the very last passage of play. My watch tells us we have played 34 second half minutes. Sarah Curley has it, Sarah Curley gives it to Sinead Regan. Regan decides what she's going to do and she's taking the decision to give it outside to Brennan and Brennan gives it back to Curley and Curley's trying to drive through, gives it out there to Cueva Connor and it's back into the field. Lisa Powell making a run through the middle. If Brennan can spot her, Brennan goes for the shot. It's in on top of the goalkeeper. It's fumble. It's not fumble. I was predicting the future and I got it wrong. Thankfully for Loud, they've held on to it. And now the ball is in the hands of Mia Duffy, the right half forward. Gives it out now to Aoife Russell and Russell trying to charge through midfield. One player gone down for Sligo. Picks herself back up. Hannah O'Neill does well. It's back there with the other substitute. That was number 18, 18 done, and somehow in the midst of it all, Neve Rice has won a free for Loud. And that, unless they give the ball away, should be that. Loud saying, the management there just in front of us, don't give it away. That's the most important thing, don't give the ball away. Loud still have it. If they don't give it away, they should hold on for the three points here. McLaughlin gives it outside now to Neve Rice Rice gives the ball inside looking for Boyle but there were three Sligo players around her and here we go surely the last hurrah right half right cornerback Isabel Henry gives it out now to centre back Lisa Powell and Powell switches the play across to Scanlon Scanlon outside now to Curley and Curley was well hit there by was it Neve Rice it was but she's done well to get the ball away to Megan McCormick referee says don't worry about it it's a free anyway I was giving you the advantage 35 and 3 quarter minutes gone here in Darver in the second half referee says play the ball on and that's exactly what Sligo have done it looks like Tara Breheny on the far side question of steps but eventually she's got it and gave it away and out the field comes the captain leading by example Anya Breen from the Patrick's Club on the Cooley Peninsula just taking loads of toe tops, a couple of hops as well, gives it to Laura Collins and Loud have won here. By the skin of their teeth, Loud have hung on. 2-10 to 2-9. It was an excellent second half. Sligo got the first three points of the second half. Sarah Curley, Megan McCormick and Tara Phillips before Aoife Russell with a score for Loud. Leah Duffy then got an absolute cracker of a goal before Laura Collins replied with a point for Loud. Sinead knocked and added another one for Sligo before Laura Collins got 1-1 in the space of 60 seconds but it was all Sligo then they hit the last five scores of the game points from Sinead Regan and Megan McCormick along with Quiva Connor before a brilliant goal from Rachel O'Brien and Leah Duffy completed the scoring just as we struck the 30th minute of the second half but it wasn't enough Loud have run out victorious here in Darver 2-10 to 2-9 from all of us here goodbye and we'll speak to you soon